everyone, this is Shadow Mario 41, and welcome back to Let's Play Mario Power Tennis. Let's keep going with the special games, shall we? We have quite a few left to do. We did Tic Tac Low and Terra Tennis last time, but I've realized something when I was going through some of these. Chain Chop Challenge and Coin Collectors in particular are really fun, but are really designed for four players. So to show those off, I think I'm going to wait until I have four players to work with. So still just by myself, we still have Cooper Blooper Volley, Balloon Panic, and Mecha Bowser Mayhem. Should be able to fit all three of those into this. Then we'll be able to get into some exhibition matches, then some multiplayer. It's going to be a lot of fun. But Balloon Panic, here we go. Now Panic is the initial difficulty, then Super Panic, then Ultra Hyper Panic. Well, that escalated quickly. And then Balloon Panic Challenge, which is what we're going to do. Right now, it takes place on the DK Jungle Court, so Diddy Kong is, of course, an appropriate selection. Now, what you have to do is you have to hit the tennis ball at these panels, and you have to protect these balloons from clap traps. Now, what's going to happen is the clap traps will travel up the board, and they will turn at every intersection. So, see, it shows a little path of where they're going to do. So, you have to kind of turn these panels here so that they are not going to hit the balloons. And this gets very difficult because you have to make several very precise shots and if even one of your shots misses the mark then guess what you lose and you got to start all over i already have a new record of one i don't know if that's impressive or not but hey a new record is a new record right all right hold on let's get rid of that and let's flip oh no 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 don't flip that Okay, good. <laughs> oh man, that was almost a very quick game over. Okay, you gotta be fast in this game too. You cannot mess up one. If you mess up one shot, forget it. Forget it. You lose. You lose. Um, all right, we gotta see how these guys are gonna progress here, cause I wanna flip that one. And as soon as that claptrap goes by, yeah, I wanna turn that panel as well. Now we have this blue guy coming up over here. The blue ones go the fastest, by the way. Red is in the middle and green is the slowest. So you'll start off on the bronze difficulty with a lot of green ones all the time. And then you'll quickly progress to dealing with red guys and then eventually blue. So I don't know. I forget if it's that way in the games. I think it's, it's something similar anyway. But I like how they kind of incorporated that into this anyway. But yeah, that's the thing. If just one of these four balloons pops. Oh, and that's the thing too. On the easiest difficulty, there's only two balloons. So you have a lot more uh, escape routes, so to speak. On the normal difficulty is three, and if on the hardest it is four. So yeah, but if one of the balloons pops, it's not like you get four lives here or anything like that. If one pops, you are done. So that kind of sucks a lot. So doing pretty well so far though. All right, let me gotta flip this one over here. There we go. Yeah, oh man, uh-oh, we got that other red one climbing up too. Er, all right, good, good, get a little bit of a break. Yeah, for those of you trying to follow this series consistently, I'm sorry I haven't been updating as frequently as I would have liked to. Graduate school is taking up a lot of time, so <laughs> as much as I would love to play Mario Power Tennis and I'm re-addicted to Animal Crossing, oh dear, that's a slippery slope, I know. As much as I would love to keep updating, it's difficult. So whenever I get to play, it's really a treat. I, like, I, I really enjoy it. So I'm glad to be here, glad to be here for you. And we're still, oh, I didn't want to flip that panel. Flip that again. And I want to flip that one right there. Good. You want to, of course, use lob shots to make sure your shots go the right way. Oh, and by the way, for hard mode on this, for ultra hyper panic, you have to uh, protect the balloons from 40, or not 40, 30 rather, 30 clap traps. Oh, no, 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 no. Bad. Come on, gotta flip that one. No, no, no. No. Ah, uh, I think uh, it's too late. He's gonna pop that one. That's all right. So you gotta do that from thir for 30 clap traps. That took quite a few attempts for me to be able to do, but hey, 19, that's not terrible. I mean, I expected maybe I'd get in here and then like the second one would pop a balloon or something. So. Anyway, that wasn't too bad for Balloon Panic, but that's the main idea. That game gets very difficult. I think four players in that would be like an absolute hindrance. It would be a hindrance because everyone would be getting in each other's way. It would just not not turn out very well at all, in my opinion. Um, so anyway, let's see what we have next. Oh, we have Mecha Bowser Mayhem. That's another one. That's ridiculously hard. But he's Koopa Troopa. He seems like an appropriate choice uh, because you want a speedy character. Mecha Bowser Mayhem is a big boss battle. There is no... Uh, you know, challenge mode or anything. There's just the three difficulties. Aluminum frame, iron frame, and titanium frame. This is very difficult. It's a boss battle. How do you, how do you make a tennis game and put a boss battle into it? This is how. Mecha Bowser, of course, from Mario Sunshine. 
Same game as Shadow Mario. And here's the thing, you if you press the A button, or B, B works as well, and you charge up these hits, you can actually fire at uh, Mecha Bowser. You can also rapid fire like that, just by every time you tap A. And you can, of course, hit the bombs and bullet bills at him as well. And you pretty much just have to drain his health. You can see his life bar at the top and my life bar. But see, here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's the thing. That's the thing exactly. That fire breath attack from Mecha Bowser, if you're not standing in the exact spot you need to be, when he does that attack, it will hit you and you cannot dodge it, and it sucks. So you pretty much always have to stand in the back and on the sides here if you want to have any chance of avoiding that breath attack. In my opinion, Mushrooms are helpful if you can get one easily. It's not worth it to go out of your way to get a mushroom. That'll just increase your speed. This thing keeps turning too. That's a big pain. Uh, rapid fire. It is worth it, by the way, to charge too. That way you don't have to aim. If you charge, you can hit way over there and it'll home in on them. Otherwise, you have to aim forward. And uh, see, these bullet bills and stuff can all hit you. They're not really that big of a deal though. The breath attack is what's the killer. Let's get that mushroom. All right, there we go. Get really. So you have to you have to be way in the back to avoid that whole thing because that sweeps across the whole stage and it's ridiculous. Oh, it's always worth it to get a star though, obviously. Then you can just sit here and do this all day. Then you can deflect all this crap back at him. It's pretty cool. I like this. I mean, not that Mario Sunshine is my favorite of the Mario series, um, admittedly, even though my name takes after it. Uh, I think there were it was flawed in more than one way. Uh, but I like how they took this boss battle and put it in. I think it's really creative. I mean, how do you do that? That's exactly the point. Like, would you, would you be sitting at a meeting and being like, I think we need to have a boss battle in Mario Tennis. And everyone would be like, what? Are you crazy? See, look at this. Look at how ridiculous that breath attack is. It's so hard to avoid. I'm almost at the end. Okay, now what he's going to do is he's almost dead. So he's going to alternate sides with that breath attack. Maybe. Or maybe not. Go away. Come on. Come on, yes! Yes, he's done! Oh my goodness, I was getting so nervous that I was gonna die! Look at my health! One more hit, I would have been done. But we cleared it! Two minutes and seven seconds. That's pretty good for the hardest difficulty of Mecha Bowser Mayhem. And on the first attempt. Look at that. Look at me go. Oh, I mean, it might have been more appropriate to use Bowser Jr., of course. But the thing is, you need a speedy character. You need a character that can move around fast on the hardest difficulty so you can avoid everything. Otherwise, you have no chance. Okay, speaking of something I might not have a chance at doing, we're going to use Pete for this, believe it or not, uh, because this is Gooper Blooper Volley. This is the last of the special games that I want to show off to you, single player anyway, and this is probably the most infamous of them all because I haven't cleared this yet, actually. Master Blooper, you have to return the ball 100 times successfully. Guess what? If you're on time 99 and you screw up, you start back at zero. So that just sucks. Let's do it. This takes place on the Gooper Blooper Court. Remember the big thing about this one is that the panels uh, will shift around. Well, this one's kind of similar. I like the music though. Listen to the music. It's a remix of the Mario Sunshine boss theme. So what you have to do is you have to keep returning this ball, right? And whatever panel you return it on, it will actually get grayed out. So you need to return it to a different panel. So you see, uh, each panel gets grayed out over time, and eventually you'll get two panels that are grayed out, and then three. So, it really gets tough. And Gooper Blooper shots get harder to return as well. So anyway, the first, like, 40 is very easy. I believe 40 is where you just get that one X. After that, you start getting two Xs. And then after 80, I believe you get three. So it just gets tougher and tougher as you go. And like I said, Gooper Blooper shots will be more difficult to return. But I think having the two Mario Sunshine bosses is an appropriate thing to do here. That was pretty close already. But while we do this, this is going to take a long time. And this is pretty easy to start. Um, I do want to talk about Mario Tennis Open, which I played on 3DS just recently. Um, and what I thought of it, because some of you guys asked me in the comments or in private messages or on Facebook and Twitter what I think of the newest Mario Tennis game. And you know what? I like it, but I don't like it as much as Mario Power Tennis. I find that it's more, it reminds me so much of Mario Tennis on the N64. It almost seems like a remake of it or an updated version. The reason I don't like it, though, is because it kind of, when you play with the touchscreen controls, I know you can use button controls, and I much prefer the button controls. When you play with the touchscreen, it kind of becomes just a game of, like, match the colors, because your character will move automatically for you uh, if you play just using the touchscreen, and you just have to tap the color button that lights up at the right time, and you'll always make great shots. 
See, now that is, you know, all well and good on the easier difficulties. On the harder levels, obviously, you can't get away with doing that. But it just seems like that's not cool because this is supposed to be a tennis game like Mario Power Tennis. It's all about knowing where to go and being in the right situation at the right time and using your power shots strategically. Oh, jeez, oh, I whiffed. I totally whiffed on that. I just missed. Oh, we got to do that all again. We got to do it all over again. All over again. All right, I'm almost back up to where I, where I was when I messed up. So I'm just going to continue from here. Um, yeah, with, with Mario Tennis Open, it just seemed, it seems like a great game. It is a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun to play multiplayer. And I have to give props to the special games, too, because I believe there's one almost exactly like this, except it's Mario Galaxy inspired instead of Mario Sunshine inspired. Uh, inspired. But I missed the power shots. I missed power shots, I, and I missed the, the fact that it seems like sometimes, like, if you're not that good at tennis, you can still get by. In the sense that, like, in this game, if you don't know like where you're supposed to be positioned on the court at certain times or anything. See, now we have two grayed out panels, so we gotta watch out now. Uh, oh boy. Oh geez, this is gonna get crazy. I gotta pay attention with every shot that I hit, because it needs to go to the exact spot I need it to. Um, but yeah, it just seems like, oh man, oh no! What is this madness? I gotta start over? Ugh. You know what? Screw that. I'm not going to ever get to talking about Mario Tennis Open because this is ridiculous. Whose idea was this? This is such a terrible idea. you got to start at the beginning. Oh, it's so miserable. Like, ah, uh, uh, I just would never even want to do this as a player. Like, things like this are so miserable in games. It's terrible. It reminds me of, like, what old school games used to be. No checkpoints, no save points. You die, you start at the beginning. Three lives, you start at the beginning of the game. That's just how it was and how it is right now. It's painful, but we're halfway there, ladies and gentlemen. Back to halfway. This is crazy. So, yeah, bottom line with Mario Tennis Open. It's a great game. I still prefer Mario Power Tennis. I still think Mario Tennis or Mario Power Tennis is the definitive Mario Tennis title. But Mario Tennis on the N64 and Mario Tennis Open. And uh, I haven't played Power Tour on GBA, but every Mario Tennis game is fun. It's a lot of fun. And like I said, with Mario Tennis multiple times, it's the easiest and quickest pick up and play type of Mario sports game. Like anyone can just get in and you can be like, okay, press A or B to hit the ball and just move around and that's pretty much what you do. It's tennis, like it's not difficult. Whereas, you know, Mario Baseball has a lot of controls. Not that baseball is a complicated game, but it, you know, the control scheme can get difficult. Mario Golf has a lot of advanced things with the control scheme. Mario Strikers as well, but this one and uh, Mario Hoops has all those touch screen controls. And this one doesn't seem too bad. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no! Oh, what the heck is this? We have a flashing panel back there. Oh, it's gonna determine where he returns. This is miserable. This is awful. This is terrible. I gotta start over. I gotta start at the beginning. After all that, I gotta do it all again. Alright? Try again. I tried to stay cool and calm and collected. Oh, I'll talk about Mario Tennis Open. I'll talk about other things to keep my mind off this terrible game, but no! No, this game insists on being an asshole. So you know what? I'm gonna be an asshole back. This is ridiculous. You know what I just did realize, though, is the colors of the opposite side of the court actually determine where Gooper Blooper is gonna hit the ball. You can see the little flash, but I thought that was just, you know, an indication. It didn't really matter where you bounced it, but it does. See, if I bounce it on a yellow panel, he's going to return it back to the yellow, so that's helpful anyway. But yeah, now we get these friggin' flashing panels and everything. This is awful. This is awful. What the heck? That's, that's so mean. This is terrible. Whose idea was this? Whose idea was this? This is terrible. Oh dear. And yet I continue to play. Yet I continue to be a sucker for it. Okay, going strong, up to 75, three quarters of the way there. Don't want to screw up now because now it's crunch time. It takes so long to get back to this point, too. That's the thing. That's the thing. When you screw up, it takes so long to get back in the game that it's just, it's terrible. You want to just try again immediately. This sucks. 
All right, now I think we're gonna have three X's and we're gonna have to go. Oh no, we still do have two X's. Okay, good. I was gonna say, we better not have three X's. That's ridiculous. Oh no, what the heck? No, I directed it the other way. Oh, jeez. No, no, no. No, no. I have to start all the way at the beginning again? This is terrible. This is so torturous. <sighs> this is so miserable. Like, this is so ridiculous. Ugh. Battled all the way back to 65. This is the worst thing ever. Like, this is so mean. This is so boring, too. Who wants to do this? Oh, now we got the flashing panels again. This is ridiculous. I've gotten a little bit better just by failing over and over. <laughs> Although it's weird, when you seem to mess up the video game, you seem to get worse and worse at a part. But I've gotten a little better predicting where the ball is going to go based on the panel I hit it on, because I used to get confused. And I didn't even know that happened, so getting a little better. But still, this is such a pain. Finally back at 75. Oh my god, it takes so long to get back to this point again. Let's not screw up this time, please. Please. Okay, 78. All right, all right, flashing panel, good. Back court, those are easier. Easier in the back court. So you, I noticed you first start getting those red and blue panels on the opposite side after 25 hits. Then you start getting the flashing panels, it seems like after 60. And it's, it's just a big pain. It, I don't I don't care. I just want to be done with this. I'm almost done. 85 is going to be that bounce. Okay, okay. Focus. Focus. Don't screw up. Don't screw up now. We're so close to the end. Now would not be the time to mess up. Okay. 89. I don't know how you get when you really want to focus on a video game. I get really quiet. I just want to focus. I can't do anything. Now we get three X's. Now, of course, we get three X's. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. I don't remember. I don't know which panel is going to get uncovered. I forget. Okay, it's going to go in a pattern. It's going to go in a pattern. It's going to be the front one. All right. Now it's going to be back. Corner. Almost done. Almost done. Oh, of course, it's going to be a guess. Come on, come on, baby. Yes, that's it. That's it. Finally. Finally, Gooper Blooper Volley, Master Blooper, cleared. Look at that, I'm gonna relish in my accomplishment. That was fantastic. Finally, I don't have to do that ever again. That was just miserable. I don't know who thought of that or who thought that would be a great idea for a game. It's not, it sucks. But now I can play the Gooper Blooper Volley Challenge so now I can just go until I mess up. You know what, I'm just not gonna do any of that. Let's just not play that again, please. Oh, that took like 25 minutes like I don't know how much you're gonna see in the final video But that took 25 minutes just on this game alone. That was awful. That was terrible Anyway, I'm done. I can't play. I need like a rest. I need to play another a different game right now I can't play this for a little bit. This is Shadow Mario 41. That was Mario Power Tennis I never have to do Gooper Blooper Volley again. I am so excited <sighs> Next time we're going to do some exhibition games, which is going to get really fun because we can explore the ace difficulty, which is absolutely brutal in this game. So, I'll see you guys then. Ciao.